Logical reasoning is a problem-solving strategy where you work through a problem using the clues you've been given step-by-step step to find the solution. By using logical reasoning, you can eliminate the wrong answers and discover the correct solution that makes sense with all the details. Of course, you use logic with whatever problem-solving strategy you use. Let's try some examples. Five friends buy each other gifts for their birthdays. How many gifts are bought altogether and how many must each person buy? So let's think. Each person will buy a gift for each of the others. The first buys one for two, three, four, and five. The second buys one for one, three, four, and five, etc. So each person will buy four gifts and receive a gift from four others. Twenty gifts will be bought all together when five friends buy gifts for four people each. I'm a two-digit number. I am a square number. The sum of my digits is nine. I am divisible by four and two. Okay, so the first two-digit square number is 16. It is divisible by four and two, but its digits don't add to nine. The next square number is 25, but that is not divisible by four and two. Then 36. That is divisible by 4 and 2, and its digits add to 9. So that satisfies the clues. Some friends had a race. What are their positions at the end of the race? Jacinta came first of the girls. Ted finished just ahead of Gemma. Gemma finished after Claire. Michael beat Claire. Jacinta finished after Michael but before Claire. We use the clues to try and order the names. Ted is only one place ahead of Gemma, but Claire also beat Gemma. So Claire, Ted, Gemma. Michael beat Claire, so it's Michael, Claire, Ted, Gemma. Jacinta finished after Michael, but before Claire. So it's Michael, Jacinta, Claire, Ted, Gemma. Using logical reasoning is a great problem-solving strategy.